This morning, I'm in the garden at Edgefields in Troutdale, and I'm with Logan from Collier Arbor Care. So good morning. Good morning. Um, so you have a, this um, garden as your client, and you are working with them for pest control, care of the plants, health of the plants, but you do something different here to work with the organic nature of this mm -hmm. garden. So what do you do here? Um, so one of the things that we do here um, in, in our uh, you know, integrated pest management toolbox is uh, we do beneficial insect releases. Ah. Um, so we're we're essentially using uh, good bugs to you know help combat the the bad ones. Oh, that's interesting. So they'll actually eat them and take care of them, so you don't have to use any kind of pesticide. Exactly. It's um, it, we still do have some pesticide mm. use of you know like safer soaps and oils that don't have any residual, um, and we're we're able to um, to you know get some kind of long-lasting control using these natural predators. Uh, so you don't have to use the harsh chemicals, you use the softer ones on the environment and on the plants. Exactly. Ah, so what kind of ones do you have in yeah. your little box here? Um, well, this is my colleague Ray, um, Hi, and Ray. We, have, uh -huh. uh, we have three different um, insects with us today. Um, so we've got our, uh, our green lacewing larvas, um, so that, that's that big honeycomb. So it, inside of there, um, each of those cells has one larva on it. So these are called the aphid lion. And, the, and they, they eat a lot of different uh, pests. They, they eat aphids, lace bugs, mites. Uh, they, they even eat each other. <laughs> <laughs> and they eat them at the larval stage and then they'll hatch out into adults and mm -hmm. what do the adults do then? Well the adults feed on nectar um, so the, the, the adults really only purpose is to, uh, is to mate and, um, and lay new eggs. Ah, and pollinate so that's great mm -hmm. so really you have that whole cycle there and they kind of lay the eggs back and the larva will go and attack all the bad bugs. Yep. Excellent. So, so the next insect that, uh, that we have in there, there is our uh, is our Neosalacious predatory mites. Mm. So these are a general mite predator, and they they're a good mite, you know, which is a, a, a tiny uh, spider, and they eat other mites, um, you know, on like a, on arborvita or hemlocks, you know, any of the mite prone plants. Uh, and those are sometimes so hard to control, so really mm -hmm. to have this in your toolbox or in your um, arsenal there to get rid of them, that's really great. Mm -hmm. And what else you got? And then our last one is the aphid-eating midge. This one is my favorite. <laughs> um, so uh, they're, um, they, they, they hatch as, uh, as adults and they fly up into the tree and they'll lay eggs next to um, high aphid populations. And its larva is this uh, bright orange, um, almost like a little slug. It doesn't have any legs. Um, and it, it, it exclusively eats aphids. Um, and it'll inject a toxin into their legs to paralyze them. And oh. it'll do that to more aphids than it can eat. So in <laughs> high aphid populations, we actually get great control with this with this insect. You know, it, the insect world is just so fascinating mm -hmm. how they have engineered all that. And I know that that tulip tree that we talked about, it really just kind of decimated the aphid problem and it just mm -hmm. really brought it healthy and really clean of aphids. Yeah, it, we, um, we were just uh, inspecting it the other day and we were struggling to find aphids on it. Uh. Well, really, there is so much that you could do in your own garden. There's um, all kinds of things that you can get online or at your independent garden center. There's always ladybugs to get, and you can really use those on the problem plants at your garden. And Collier Arbor Care has so much information, so you can go to um, our website, and we'll click you over to theirs for more information. Well, thank you guys so much. Thank you. Yeah.